Sup folks, BQ here. Welcome to the Impact Lounge YouTube channel. First timers, if you're a big fan of Impact Wrestling, this is the channel to subscribe to. This is the place to be. Gonna put this question out to you guys. What do you think of the build to Slammiversary so far? And what do you think about the three matches that have been announced? Now there's one thing about Slammiversary. Slammiversary typically delivers. It's usually an excellent pay-per-view. It's bound for glory that for whatever reason just doesn't always deliver but slam reversary usually everyone goes all out in their matches and the last couple have been excellent I, I would even say the last four or five have been really good i mean i can't think of one that wasn't good but there's been a lot of good slam reversary moments good matches and i really like the way this is shaping out so far so let's go with the x division title match rich swan who i think has been a great champion and I had said months ago when he started with the company and had his first few matches, I said, you know, Rich, Rich Swan to me is the really epitome of what an X Division star should be as far as his in-ring talent. And then he has some character to go along with it. And he's got some name value. So I think he's really delivered as a champion. Now you got Johnny Impact, who's been in the world title scene forever since he's joined the company. Now he's coming down to the X Division. So it makes the X Division a more high-profile match. And it should be an excellent freaking match also. I see Rich Swan really stepping his game up. And we get to see Johnny Impact in an X Division style match. Because usually in the world title scene, you know, he's still he's still Johnny Impact and he does what he does. But his opponents are usually a little bigger. So this is going to be a lot of fun. This could be the best X Division title match we've seen in a long time. Hey, baby. Excuse me for my phone going off there. Another match, just recently announced, Moose versus Rob Van Dam. Really hope Moose wins this one. I, I don't see why RVD should win this thing, but it should be it should be entertaining in the fact that Moose always steps it up for the pay per views. Moose is one of those guys like he he treats the pay per views like WrestleMania. You know he he has a special entrance. He busts out some moves that he may not normally do. And remember how they over delivered. At Slammiversary last year. This is this is a year now going on. A Moose versus Austin Aries. That was Slammiversary, right? Not Bound for Glory. Someone uh, correct me if I'm wrong on that one. But I thought it was Slammiversary. But these guys really over-delivered. This was a main event no one really wanted to see. And it was excellent. And it was the beginning of Moose's character change to what he is on TV right now. Which is, I, I, I like this Moose. A thousand times better than I liked him as a babyface. So expect Moose to over-deliver in this match as well. RVD can still go. He can still perform. Main event, Brian Cage versus Michael Elgin. What do you guys think of this? Because Michael Elgin just came into the company. And he's been very clear where he's like, I wouldn't be here if I wasn't coming for the championship. You know what I mean? So it kind of works storyline-wise. But then you got the very TNA thing of bringing someone in and challenging for the the championship their first big match in the company or their first pay-per-view or whatever so there's people who look at this from two totally different angles and think uh, i'd rather see killer cross in his position or whatever but michael elgin has done really good work since being a part of impact he's been a really good heel he's in tremendous effing shape so this match with two big dudes i mean now elgin's a lot shorter than cage but two big dudes who can really do some shit in the ring should continue the tradition of a really excellent main event. Now, who wins this? I got no idea. We're going to talk about predictions and all that stuff later down the line. I would like to think Brian Cage will will still go, but, um, you know, do they pull the trigger and put this belt on Michael Elgin? Who knows? But right now, the three matches announced look like they're going to be really good. We can speculate what some of these other matches are, but we don't know quite yet. But Slammiversary looks like it's going to be just as good as these other ones, in my opinion. So leave your thoughts in the comments, what you think about the three matches that were announced. And I'll talk to you soon. Peace.